My name is Dr. Kendra Richardson. I am a family medicine physician and I am living with a girl one mediated FSGS. I lived pretty much a normal childhood. The only ailment that I came down with at a young age was high blood pressure. I've noticed I was getting headaches around 17 or so. They said it was just genetic. My mom and my father had it, was put on a diuretic, and that pretty much controlled my symptoms. I went through medical school for years. It wasn't until my last year of residency. We had a lot of financial planners come speak to us. There was a recommendation to get disability insurance. So of course I was like, sure, I'm healthy. I got the labs back and the blood work was okay, but I had all this protein in my urine. Of course I was denied the insurance, but those were kind of the least of my concerns at that point. I was also so concerned about what was going on with my body. I referred myself to the nephrologist. He told me that first visit he thought I had FSGS. He said, I think it's APOL. He explained to me that it was very common in African-American populations. So at that point, I was very nervous. This changed so much about my life in such a short period of time. And I felt a little betrayed because I had been so healthy throughout my life. I was on the phone with my mom and she was like, your dad wants to talk to you. And so he tells me that he was diagnosed with FSGS 12 years ago. I started to feel a little bit better about the diagnosis, knowing that I didn't cause this to myself. And this is a genetic condition that I passed down from my parents and we don't get to pick that. I try to encourage my family and my patients to talk more about their health, good, bad, or indifferent, just to talk about it because I don't think we do that enough.